Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and today's question is, is smoking vegan? Now I'd like to thank one of my YouTube subscribers, your mum is 5150 um, for this question and it came up on another YouTube video and I'm sure if you're on YouTube or you've commented or anything, some of the original comments can become something completely different and so that's what one of those comments became on one of my videos so I'd like to thank her for this and I'd like to thank her from some for some of the information and my friend Imba who lives in Oregon and um, make sure you have a look at the links below in the information section as well for more information so um, there's many different things I get asked all the time if they are vegan and smoking may or may not be vegan but I personally think it's not vegan and I'm just going to go through the reasons why today and I hope that you get something from it now if you're predominantly following a vegan diet smoking may be vegan for you now um, some a lot of cigarettes have animal parts in them or animal bits like pig's blood for example which is a bit weird and disgusting for me um so for following a diet that is vegan um depending on the brand of the cigarette it may be vegan um if you're following a vegan diet for the health aspects and you're contrib and you're smoking cigarettes um i think you need to think that one through a bit more um but if you're following a vegan lifestyle and this means that not only are you following a vegan diet where you don't consume animals or animal products but you also don't support anything that hurts or harms any of our animal friends and one of the biggest things with this is animal testing so um the the reason the main reason i think that um smoking is not vegan is because of the animal testing and um, the tobacco industry has quite a widespread involvement in animal testing it has over the years um, and like I said before there's animal products in cigarettes like pig's blood and this adds to you know the concoction of chemicals that they have including cyanide and benzene formaldehyde um, and many many vegans including myself we replace our makeup our cosmetics our cleaning products with products that are vegan and not tested on animals or don't consume or don't have any animal products in them and cigarettes should be exactly the same um, tests on animals um, involving tobacco have been banned in Britain since 1997 and studies took still can but studies t still continue in Europe and US and don't kid yourself that these animal tests are used to combat you know life-threatening illnesses or something because the majority of animal tests that are done in Europe and the, U the US involved cosmetic companies and for them to make a bit more profit um, the government, tobacco companies and even anti-smoking groups all spend millions and millions of dollars testing cigarettes on animals when we all know that tobacco is harmful to our health and to others' health. I'm just going to go through a list of um, some what animal testing actually includes and it's a bit full on it's a bit horrific I'm not going to show any photos but it could be a bit hard to hear so just brace yourself for this for a while but I do think that you and your friends and especially those that smoke need to know this information so animal testing includes forcing animals to smoke through tubes inserted into their throats putting toxic substances and chemicals into their eyes or skin force feeding poisonous substances. Dogs can have their chest cavities cut open to their legs completely removed and these both test nicotine on their circulatory system. Monkeys can be strapped to chairs or in small cages and they're forced to inhale smoke. Pregnant monkeys are injected with nicotine and their babies are dissected when they're born. Cats are forced to inhale smoke to test the effects of nicotine on cardiac reflexes. And there's so many more things that people do to animals all the time in the name of science and in the name of more profits. 
Um, these, these examples I've given you are specifically about Reynolds American and they're from the Radical Vegans website that you can see below in the more information. But all big tobacco companies use animal testing and most of these contain animal ingredients. And not only does smoking products, not only do smoking products harm our animal friends, but smoking cigarettes and other items causes cancer for us. For, you know, cancers in the lung, larynx, bladder, pancreas, oral cavity, kidney and the esophagus. It also causes cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease, emphysema, heart attacks and strokes. And secondhand smoke is banned in many public areas now, which is great. I remember when I used to go out um, to see bands and I had really long hair and I'd come home and I could just smell smoke all through my hair, so disgusting. Um, and I personally detest smoking. It's one of those one of those things I'm quite passionate about. Smoking and um, gambling are two of my um, things I really, really detest. I'm very passionate about. And um, secondhand smoke and you know stopping people smoking in public areas is a really great thing that I think a lot of people do. And so if you're a smoker, um, just consider what you're doing to people around you. You're smoking, that's fine if you want to kill yourself slowly, that's up to you. But you're also doing that to other people around you. And this can include your family, this can include your fur friends. So your fur um, and feathered friends that you might have in your family, that you might be driving around with your kids in the car, with your dogs or your cats or other animals in the car. That's not cool. Smoking is one of those things as well. Um, that I find is hard for smokers to understand how bad it is until they're a non-smoker. Smoking is so bad for you for your health. It depletes so many essential vitamins and minerals in your blood and in particular zinc. So zinc is for like taste and smell. So a lot of smokers don't understand why non-smokers think it's just disgusting that smell because they can't actually smell how bad it is. Um, but you know, just, just say to people, you know, I prefer if you don't smoke around me or can you move away or something like that. Try not to get into fights with smokers as I have in the past. I'd also just like to talk about the environmental implications of smoking because it's, it's, quite, it's quite large and I don't think a lot of people are aware of this. There's a plastic filter core um, and in, in the cigarette and this takes between 18 months and 10 years to decompose. Um, discarded filters that people use, they contain tar, ammonia, arsenic and all these things when they're disposed of they seep into the ground and they contaminate the waterways via storm drains. They cause damage and ill health to living organisms. In Uruguay and South Korea they have 40% deforestation due to the tobacco industry. I think that's pretty full on. And one in eight trees are cut down each year worldwide by tobacco production. One in eight trees for tobacco production. Nine million acres are destroyed annually, which accounts for nearly 5% of greenhouse gases. And there's the tobacco slave trade, so it's also a human rights issue. Um, and it's prolific in Malawi in Africa where 80% of trees are cut down for the tobacco industries and children here that work in these trades um, they're actually exposed to toxic levels of nicotine from using and handling these plants and multinational companies and tobacco companies own these plantations. Animal experiments um, for smoking are used to test products, research the effects or evaluate new drugs to help people quit. In the USA, 500,000 people die per year, with, with 50,000 of those from secondhand smoke. And there are 6 billion tobacco related deaths yearly worldwide. Those figures are pretty full on. I'm just going to repeat them again. 500,000 people die per year in the US, with 50,000 of those from secondhand smoke and 6 billion tobacco related diseases happen yearly worldwide. If you smoke, you are not only poisoning and slowly killing yourself, but many around you, whether they're your human friends or other humans or non-humans. 
and plus there's, you're putting a toll on the environment. I personally think smoking is not vegan at all, but whether you're vegan or not, it's definitely time to quit smoking.